So just a, a quick uh, couple pointers on the, the matrix target if you're new to it. This is the, uh, the center cell that I had until I've just shot that into confetti. I can pretty much push my whole hand through it and you know, there's, there's nothing left to that. I've been shooting that for, uh, for like four months. That has been my center. So, you know, interestingly enough, it was still stopping, still stopping arrows. I was still having about six inches come out the front with like a four, it, arrows weigh like 402 grains total um, with just field points. But, you know, after a while, of course they do break down, but that was actually still stopping arrows. I changed it because I tape, I don't use the point, I don't actually use the dots. I have them blacked out and I just tape a center target on it. Um, but it was, um, there's, there was nothing left to tape onto, so I had to change it. But, um, as far as changing the cells out, I'm doing it right now. This is one of the originals. Um, you can see some of the newer ones here. See, the newer ones, um, you know, they don't have a lot of side damage from arrows coming out the sides, you know, but as they start to get a little worn, um, you do get like a little damage on the side. Now to get it to go together um, real nice and tight again, um, what I do do is I use a, a flap disc and you know shave up everything nice and pretty again so that it goes back together real clean. You can use a knife too. Um, so the only thing I would recommend is shooting it from one side. Um, this is an older cell that actually started to fail um, from shooting it from both sides. And you see it started to puncture out the back pretty quickly. So you see from one side, they last pretty much forever. Shooting from both sides, noticed not really so much. Um, but yeah, the uh, so this is this is like two years old. This is two years old. So I'll just take a new cell, put it up somewhere out where it just barely get tagged up, and then take you know after time goes on and they start to get really hit then use that as your center. And then, uh, you know, order a new one, put it on the outside again, and rotate them in like that. That's what I do, works pretty well. But it's a great target. Um, if you don't have, I'm using a welding table, but um, a concrete floor, or anything flat. And then um, when you do put it together, I recommend taking a ratchet strap and ratcheting around the outside and really cinch it down real good with the ratchet strap and then put your hand straps on. It makes it a lot easier to like center everything up, get everything nice and clean, ratchet strap it together, and then it's just it's simple just to take the hand strap and just put it back together. It makes it a lot easier. But yeah, that's um, I, ju I just noticed it causes a lot more damage to the side if you don't get it fit together real well. Um, so, you know, after a couple of years and completely destroying cells, um, you know, this one will go another four months, shooting like three or four days a week for about two hours a day. I don't know how many arrows that is, but a lot. Um, so yeah, it fits together great. I use, like I say, I use a ratchet strap to take this and, you know, just put it in the center, guide everything straight, and then use the hand straps and finish it off, put the handle back on, and uh, good to go.